Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Ajendra Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. I am MD in Ayurvedic Medicine and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology, that is Kaya Chikitsa and Kriya Sharir. My WhatsApp number is 9226810630 for communication and your suggestions and feedback. Uh, today, I am going to talk about one of the topic of Rasa Shastra, that is Mana Paribhasha. I know actually this is not the topic uh, that much, uh, what you can say, I can make a video on it. But I think there is a SAQ on this topic and sometimes AC, uh, MCQ, multiple choice question. They ask some uh, things from this Mana Paribhasha. Uh, personally, I wish that now the old type of the language or the terminology regarding the measurements or regarding the uh, metrics, you cannot use in the recent uh, uh, what you can say, the books and all these things. That is the, a type of the historical aspect. But let us see what the uh, in the olden times they use the uh, particular words or particular terminology and how it can be correlated with the today's metric system. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about Mana Paribhasha. Uh, so we will talk about weights and the measures. We will talk about linear measures and also the measurement of time. Okay. So, weights and measures, classical unit that is mentioned in the Samhita Granthas and metric equivalent nowadays. I am not going to read all these things. This is very clear in front of you. But for example, important things I will say you because this Gunja is always mentioned uh, in, even in the today's books and that equals to the 125 milligram. The dose, for example, tablet dose is one Gunja for three times in a day. That means 125 milligram you have to take for uh, three times in a day. Okay. Then eight ratti or eight gunja becomes one mass and mass is one gram in the today's uh, uh, context. Okay, 12 mass is one karsha that is tola and that is 12 gram or approximately 10 ml. I can say one tola is equal to 10 to 12 ml. Then uh, 12 tolas is equal to one shukti that is 24 gram. Two shukti uh, that becomes one pala that is 48 grams. Then two pala becomes one prasoti that is 96 grams two prasotis is one kudava kudava is often used you can read this kudava is 192 grams then two kudavas is equal to one manik that is 384 grams two manik is equal to one prastha prastha is many times you can hear 768 grams then uh, four prasthas is equal to one adhaka three grams and 70 uh, three kilos and 73 grams uh, four adhakas becomes one drona that is 12 kilo, 12 kilo, 228 grams, 2 dronas is equal to 1 supra, that is 24 kilos. A 2 supra, uh, surpas is equal to 1 droni. Nowadays, these are, nobody is using this, okay. Some words you might have been heard about gunja and mash and tola, etc, etc. 1 pala is equal to 48 grams, 100 palams is equal to 1 tula, that is 4 kg, okay. 20 tulas is equal to 1 bhar, 96 kg. Now about the linear measures. This is uh, angula prama. Angula is a one finger unit. This is very important. Uh, self angula prama is uh, taken every time. And this uh, is very useful for shari rachana subject, kriya subject. Whenever there we talk about the uh, human uh, angula pramana. Everybody should, Ayurveda style, when you want to say yourself fit, then you are, uh, what you can say, the Angula Praman is always considered. It is 1.95 centimeter approximately. Uh, there is a self practical. I can uh, explain you how we can do our own finger unit or Angula Praman, how it is used, uh, how it is measured by the vernier calipers. Okay. Then one Aratni uh, is equal to 41.91 centimeter. One Aratni. One Hasta is equal to 44.72 centimeter or 22 inches. One yama is equal to 72 inches or 182.88 centimeter. Now, about the measurement of time, uh, here you can see ghati. Ghati is the most important. One ghati is at 24 minutes. Okay. Then 30 kashta is equal to one kala, that is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Then this muhurta word is very, very important because you might have been heard about in Sastavrutta Dinacharya Adhyay, daily regimen. Uh, the person should uh, uh, awake uh, Brahma Muhurta. What is that Brahma Muhurta? Uh, is around uh, 48 minutes uh, before the sunrise. Okay. Then 30 Muhurtas is one Ahuratra, 
so these two words are important one is a uh, kala is also important but muhurta and ahuratra that is 24 hours uh, rasa dhatu is uh, uh, moving all around the body ahuratra ahuratra is a 24 hours this is uh, blood circulation is going on so some of these terms you might have been heard uh, uh, during while reading the books and reading the samvida granthas so you have just uh, keep some words in your mind otherwise these some topics are useful for multiple choice question at your second year bms as well as for the md and ms entrance okay okay so this is very very short video i understand that particular condition but uh, may be useful for you so if you want any health problem consultation paid online consultation of course and private paid tuitions then you can whatsapp me on 9226810630 and also as usual i am uh, i am always requesting you please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for the uh, what you can say getting the interesting videos and interesting information about ayurveda and yoga i am very thankful for your patience hearing and i wish you all the best in your life career and also examinations so thank you very much and see you later